The medium rare is done, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on the plate for dear husband. He likes medium rare. With just salt and pepper, we don't ruin the the taste of the meat. Today, Sunday, we are grilling ribeye steaks, brats, and we are also going to do mashed potatoes. Very simple, not much of ingredients. It's just gonna be the meat, uh, salt and pepper, and the potatoes. And of course, sour cream, butter that we have to put in mashed potato. We are going to cut the prime rib. We have here the Angus prime rib that we are going to use for the ribeye steaks grilled and right before we do that i already chopped the potatoes that's gonna be for the mashed potato i'm just gonna go ahead and put water so we can boil it while potato is boiling kids are helping me they're the ones doing the grill so they just got the grill started and we are going to do the meat Usually, their husband does this, but still he's on call. We're going to grill it. I just cut the edge very thin and I can also grill it or use it for saute some other time. This is how much thick that we need to have so it's not gonna be undercooked and at the same time it's not gonna be overcooked. Husband and kids usually like medium rare. But for me, I like it well done. So we have four cuts of ribeyes. We have the two thin slices, the one that's actually on the sides, but we'll just put it on the grill. So a lot of people have their own recipe for the seasoning for the ribeye steak. Uh, for us, my husband doesn't really like too much seasoning when it comes to steaks. Very simple salt and pepper lang. He doesn't really like ruining the taste of the meat. So what we're going to do is very simple. It's just going to be kosher salt and ground or grind pepper. And we always have the ready-made 50-50 um, salt and pepper and this is what we're going to use if I can open it some people do or add paprika and that's also optional if you want your steak a little kind of having a kick or spiciness. Okay, so we have the ribeye. It is cut and seasoned, ready for the grill. Now we have brats. There's no need to season brats. We're just gonna go ahead and take it off the package and make it ready for the grill. While our potato is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and check with the kids, how's the grill, and if it's ready. I have two chakai steaks here. We are also going to put it on the grill. Usually, if we're eating steaks, the dogs are with us, of course. So at least 
they're not gonna be eating the good uh, cut of prime rib. So this this chakai steaks can go to Bobo and Rasco. Our potatoes are done. We're just gonna go ahead and strain it and mash it. Let's just season the potatoes, mash it, and it's gonna be done. We have the sour cream, butter, and nature seasoning. Mashed potato is ready. Now we'll do the steaks. Okay, we're in the gazebo and we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, meat on the grill. hot the grill is uh, medium rare should be 10 to 15 minutes should be done the ones for me it can be 15 to 20 minutes because I like uh, well done the ones for the dogs um, it's just gonna be really really easy probably five to uh, seven minutes my son is the one managing the grill right now in the back um, it's a little bit windy so uh, right now while we're waiting for the meat to be done what I usually do if I have to eat meat on family weekends I try to make sure that I drink my matcha tea with ginger juice I'll just heat up some water half spoon with ginger juice Matcha tea with ginger juice. You can also put, instead of ginger juice, um, lemon. Or you can put all three matcha, ginger, and lemon. Three of them. But I usually just do matcha and ginger um, together as tea before I eat it. It's gonna help me with not feeling bloated, but um, I still enjoy the food that I eat and at the same time boost my metabolism. Remember the one that I cut in the edge? Uh, five to seven minutes, it was already done. It is well done. Let's try it. With just salt and pepper, you don't ruin the, the taste of the meat. It's still tasty and juicy. We'll try the breaths. I have the chuck eye here, which is the ones for sauteing for the next few days. This can also go to the dogs because we don't want them eating the prime rib, of course. You can just settle with chuck eye. Bubba, come here. Wanna taste it? You don't even want to chew it, huh? Is it really good? Mm -hmm. The medium rare is done, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on the plate for dear husband. He likes medium rare. How many breaths do you want, Seth? Let's 
Schwarz drauf. Shotgun steak is a happy meal. Come here, here. <coughs> 